Hey everyone, um, my name is Bethany Reese um, and I'll be your consultant for this party. Um, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for joining me um, as we go through this demo. I'm so excited to show you all the different things that Norwex can do. Um, but first I just want to say thank you to my lovely hosts um, for having this party. Um, you guys help me out and I'm here to help you out to get all your free goodies. Um, so if you could let us know in the comments what made you decide to host a Norox party, that would be great. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, so I just want to start with um, why I'm here as a consultant with Norwex. And I was introduced to Norwex back in September um, last year. And I, it was the first party I ever went to and it was online of course <laughs> um but i was looking for certain things to clean my home um, especially our bathtub which is full of well water and i um, used our cleaning paste and it took the well water stains right out of my tub and from that moment on i was sold um, and so not only is norwex super healthy and good and to clean your home with but it can also get rid of those tough stains um, without using really harsh chemicals and that really just spoke to me and so I saw it and I was like you know what this is for me I'm so excited um, so I just jumped right in and I um, hosted my very own party as my launch party and I jumped right in and I earned my kit for free um, which is probably one of the best things ever because who doesn't like free things <laughs> um, so but yeah that's a little bit about my story and here I am um, you know now it's uh, the beginning of the year and this is where I am with Norwex and I get to fit it into my schedule however I like it. I don't have to worry about calling up my boss and um, because I am my own boss I get to send my own hours I get to choose when I want to have a party um, and so it just really fits into life perfectly. I can stay home with my child um, while my husband works and it just works out all, all around for everyone. <laughs> um, but also, if you have any young children, you know that they're weird and they like to lick everything. <laughs> so for me, my toddler, he loves to lick like our windows and I was using like chemical, um, hard chemical cleaners to clean those windows. Um, but now all I use is my cloth and water. And so now I don't have to worry about my child getting those um, harmful chemicals in his system um, by licking my windows if he still chooses to lick the windows. Um, but yeah, so if you've ever been to a Norwex party, I'd love to hear it in the comments. You could say, I've been to a Facebook party or I've actually been in the home to have a party. Um, but as I said, if you're like me, you're gonna want everything in the catalog and if you're like that, then I want you to consider hosting your own party because you're gonna earn free product. It's super easy. I do all the work and you get to reap all the benefits from it. Um, Norwex is so generous and they make it fast, fun, and easy to host a party. Um, and by the way, if you didn't know, Norwex started in Norway and Norwex stands for the Norwegian experience. Um, so that's just a little fun fact about that. And, so we're gonna jump right into it. There are actually three ways to clean um, your home. And so our mission is to improve the quality of life by radically reducing chemicals in our homes. And so that's why I'm so excited about the way Norwex can help you clean about 90% of your home with just Norwex microfiber and water because of the way our microfiber cleans versus other ways to clean. Did you know there are three ways to clean? The first way to clean is through thermally cleaning, and that's gonna be by heat or steam. Um, so like a steam mop or something like that, um, but it's not always as con convenient or easy to use a steam mop. Um, the second way is to chemically clean. So those are like your sprays and your wipes to kill germs, um, but that leaves behind a toxic residue on your surfaces that your family will come into contact with. As I said, like cleaning the windows. Um, you're chemically cleaning those um, and it leaves behind a residue and we don't want that. And the third way is the way Norwex cleans and that's going to be to mechanically uh, to mechanically clean. And by mechanically we mean by picking everything up with just water and Norwex microfiber. Everything is completely and um, quickly cleaned with no toxic residue. Who wants that? Don't you want to be able to clean your home without leaving a bunch of yucky stuff behind? Um, I know I love that. It makes it super easy and convenient. Um, so our first um, product I'm going to show you um, is part of our Safe Haven 5. Um, 
And those are gonna be the five basic items that everyone should have in their home to start um, with. But that's gonna be our lovely Enviro cloth. Um, and so I have right here our Enviro cloth. Um, and the Enviro cloth is our E for everything microfiber cloth. It cleans every surface with just water. Can you guys believe that? Do you believe me? It just cleans every surface with just water. Um, so there are three things that set Norwex microfiber apart. So the first is gonna be the size of the fiber. Um, the size of the fiber is one two hundredth the size of a human hair. Um, that's pretty thin, you guys. Um, the density of the cloth is, cloth is the second thing that's gonna set us apart. So there are 1,800 miles of Norwex microfiber in one Enviro cloth. You guys, did you hear me? 1,800 miles of microfiber in one cloth. Um, if you unraveled that, it would stretch all the way from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. All that dense fiber means that you'll get a much better clean. It picks up grease, grime, and stuff so small you can't even see it. It also removes up to 99% of bacteria from a surface, which is water, when following proper care, use, and instructions. And the third thing that sets Norwex microfiber apart is gonna be our backlock technology. Our microsilver antibacterial agent is embedded in each fiber. And why is that important? Because when the cloth is wet, the backlock goes to work to self-purify it within 24 hours. Backlock is designed to inhibit bacterial odor, mold, and or mildew growth that can make your cloths stinky. And that means you don't have to launder as much after each use. Who would love to do less laundry? <laughs> um, and also then you won't have a stinky, stinky towels anymore. Yuck! That was one problem I had was like doing dishes or using in cloth. I would go to use it next time and it would stink. And that's because of all the bacteria growing in your cloth and you don't want that. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you exactly what our Enviro cloth can do. You may have seen um, your host share with you about this chicken demo um, that my, the consultant was gonna clean. And so here I am, I'm gonna show you how our microfiber can clean a surface after I've just wiped chicken goo on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my cloth wet because I didn't do that before I started. Um, so because when we clean with it, we wanna make sure that our cloth is wet so it can properly do its job. So here I am. So I've just got my cloth wet and when we're gonna use, when we use our, um, <coughs> our cloths, um, we're gonna wanna use it <coughs> folded and not bunched. Um, so when I'm gonna clean my surface, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna wipe like this because it's gonna pick up the best. We don't wanna bunch it up. We wanna actually hold it open and we wanna clean our surface with that. Um, so to start off our raw chicken demo, which is so gross, I hate touching raw chicken, but I'm gonna do it for you for you all because it's gonna blow your mind and it's gonna be great. Um, so in this cup, um, I have some raw chicken um, that I have, and it also has what I call um, glow germ in it. And so glow germ um, is gonna be used to simulate germs. And so um, when I rub it on my counter, it's gonna leave behind a streaky residue, and I'm gonna show you under a black light the streaky residue that is left behind. And so if you tried to do this for yourself, it wouldn't you wouldn't see the streak of the chicken juice because unless if you added glow germ to yourself. Um, but I'm just gonna, I use it so that you all can see better um, what is left behind on the counter after I clean. Um, so I'm just gonna get into it, and I'm gonna take my chicken and rub it into the glow germ. Also, make sure I got my juices. Um, so you see my chicken, you can see the juices. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna rub it on the counter. So here I have it. And we obviously know that my counter is now dirty um, because I just rubbed this yummy chicken goo all over it and so you're gonna ask me but Bethany how do we know it's actually gonna clean the surface um, how are we gonna know that it's actually clean and so I have these lovely swabs um, they're called pro clean swabs or, uh, swabs and restaurant people use them to make sure that they've cleaned all the proteins off their counter um, so it's brand new it hasn't been used yet 
Um, and when I swab it, if it's green, it means it's clean. And if it's purple, it means it's still dirty. Um, so the darker the purple, the dirtier it is. Um, so I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna swab right where we've had our chicken goo at to show you that my counter really is dirty. So we're just gonna make sure we get it in there, rub, rub, rub. And then we're gonna put it back in the tube and then we're gonna just break it. Um, and so, as you can see, it's already turning purple. So that's what we want because we know that my counter is dirty. And so I'm also going to show you how dirty uh, my counter is with a black light. Um, so if you can see, you can see all of this streaky stuff on my counter. That means that's just, that's just the glow germ, but that means you can still see that my counter is dirty. So we've got our dirty protein swab and we've got our dirty counter. And so now I'm just gonna take my Enviro cloth. And remember, um, we wanna use it, <clears throat> we wanna use it and wipe with the whole surface and not just um, bunched up. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna clean, just wipe, no vigorous cleaning at all. And so you can take it and just clean and rub it. And so I'm even gonna show you again with our black light um, the surface I've just cleaned. And so now you can see under our black light, there is no more streaking on our counter. And so you can actually see on my cloth what I've picked up from the glow germ. You can see it um, glowing underneath of that. Um, and it's all held there in the cloth. And so you're like, okay, Bethany, it, it picked all of it up, but how do I know that the surface is actually clean? Um, so, here we are, I have another one. So we're gonna swab the counter again, and I'm gonna show you that, that my counter is actually clean. Um, and so it's brand new, it hasn't been used, the liquid is still in the top. And so now we're gonna take it, and we're gonna swab the counter, where I just cleaned it. And we're gonna put it back in and we're gonna break it. And it should be green because I've just cleaned my counter. And look at that guys, my counter is clean. I've cleaned all the proteins off of my counter. So I have a dirty one with raw chicken on it and I have a clean one after I have just cleaned my counter with Norwex microfiber and water. And so it picked up all of that chicken juice and held it together in the cloth. And so I'm gonna even show you all that. Even if I touch my cloth with this um, clean probe that it's gonna stay clean. It's not gonna turn purple. Um, so here I have my 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 clean green swab and I'm gonna take it and this is where I had You can see the glow germ on the towel. This is where I clean my chicken with and I'm rubbing it on my cloth And it's still green y'all my swab is still 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 green so I've taken it in there and it's still green. Isn't that so awesome? I just love how well Nor Norwex microfiber cleans. So we've got this beautiful green swab, still clean. So if you wanted to clean up a yucky mess and then go to another area of your house, you could. Um, you, could also, um, <clears throat> you could also rinse it out and go to another area. If you wanted to clean your kitchen and then clean your bathroom with it, that would be totally okay. Um, but yeah, so I've just cleaned my counter with this, um, chicken juice and yuck and, and there you have it. Um, and so now I'm going to take it a little bit step further for you all. And I'm going to, um, simulate the, um, germs of uh, versus, um, chemically cleaning versus mechanic, uh, mechanically cleaning. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but everybody's in this super crazy fad with, um, Disinfectant wipes, and I can guarantee you that not everybody is using disinfectant wipes the correct way. Um, so if you read the directions on the back, it says to make sure that when you're cleaning the surface to keep it wet for four minutes. And I can guarantee you 
Most of the people that are using these are using these incorrectly and they don't keep the surface wet for four minutes. Um, who has time for that? Who has time to make sure your counters are wet for four minutes? I don't. I just take one quick swipe and clean it and my counter is clean. I don't have to worry about that. Um, but here I am again. I am going to take um, my glow germ and I'm going to smear it on my counter and we're going to see how well this disinfectant wipe is going to take up this um, this off of my counter. So I have my it sprinkled on my counter and so we're just going to take one disinfectant wipe and we're going to use it the way anybody else would use it. So we're just going to take and we're going to swipe and we're going to clean and we are going to see how well it actually picks it up and then I'm going to show you with the black light again to see if it cleaned my counter like my Norwex did. Um, so here we go. So visibly on my counter, the glow germ is picked up. Okay, so it's in my cloth. Um, but now we're gonna see if the streaking, if they're streaking, if it's still there, if it's clean. And so if you can tell, you can tell if I get really close with my black light that there is still streaking on the counter. Um, and you can see it in my cloth. And if I go to take this somewhere else, um, which some people do that, they don't take, get a new disinfectant wipe every time they're gonna go to a different surface. They're just taking it and they're just putting all these, you know, germs and stuff into other places because it's not actually holding it in. Um, but you can still see on my counter that it's streaky and that it's not actually 100% clean. Um, and so now I'm gonna show you with, I'm gonna take my Norwex microfiber and water and I'm gonna wipe my counter and show you the difference. So I'm gonna show you the half that I cleaned so over here, there's no streaking. That's what I just cleaned with my with my Norwax, okay? And over here, you can see the streaking of where I use the disinfectant wipe, okay? So it's still there. So you have that, guys. So make sure we all want, you know, we all want to mechanically clean because we're actually picking things up. Um, we're picking them up and our microfiber is holding them. And so now, after I've just cleaned my counter, it's all clean. And so if I were to do this again, if I were to take this disinfectant wipe and wipe it again on my counter, it's just spreading, it's just spreading it on my counter again. So there is still streak and stuff that it has transferred over. And we don't want that. We don't want to have stuff spreading everywhere. We actually want what we're cleaning to be picked up. We want it to be mechanically cleaned and gone and good forever. So just keep that in mind if you guys are using your disinfectant wipes. I'm not trying to trash talk disinfectant wipes because they, if you use them correctly, they can kill germs and stuff, but make sure you guys use them correctly. Um, but if you want it to be super easy and use and not have to wait a ton of time, um, then you can use your Norwex microfiber and water um, to get what you need to be done all clean. <laughs> um, so that's our chicken demo, guys. My swab is still green, it's still clean totally awesome. I love Norwex. So here's our dirty one that we swabbed before and here's the clean one. Clean, clean, Norwex clean. Yay for clean. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to move on to our EnviroCloth's best friend. Um, and so that is going to be our window cloth. Um, so the EnviroCloth has a best friend and we it's our window cloth. And so you're going to take you're gonna use your wet and viral cloth first, folded and not scrunched, remember? And you're going to come behind with your dry window. We, we, we use our window cloth dry um, because it's gonna polish and shine whatever we're doing. And so, and it's gonna create a streak-free shine. And so I am going to, after this, I'm gonna do a separate demo for um, our Enviro cloth and our window cloth. And I'm gonna show you how well different things clean with each other. Um, but yeah, so these are a perfect pair to start with if you can't do the Safe Haven 5. This is all called our basic package. It's an Enviro cloth and a window cloth. And it's gonna be your basic starters um, you're gonna need to clean your home, um, which they're great. I love, 
I love using them. I love using them to clean my window, to clean my fridge, um, because my child puts handprints all over everything and it cleans it with a streak-free clean every time. Um, and so our next item in our Safe Haven 5, so the window cloth is also in the Safe Haven 5, and our next item inside of the Safe Haven 5 is gonna be our dusting mitt. And so who hates dusting? <laughs> um, why do we hate it? It just seems like the dust never stops. Um, so I am going to, we're gonna, the dusting mitt, it works using static clean from friction. So when you use it, you're going to want to rub, rub it together. So you're going to rub it together to show how to create the static charge, okay? So we're rubbing it together. I'm showing you how to create the static charge. And the more static buildup, the more dust you're going to attract. And so now I am going to, I have a pan over here that has, um, I sprinkled some flour on it. Um, and we're just gonna take it and I'm gonna show you just how well the dust mitt is gonna pick all this up. Um, and so just with a few swipes, and so you can, so here it is. It's not going, you know, it's not sprinkling back on my pan. And so, and it's two-sided, you guys. So you can continue and you can dust two-sided. And so there you have it. So I've just cleaned all that off my pan. It's good to go brand new again. And so another way to use the dust mitt, which we live out in the country. And so um, it gets kind of dirty out here sometimes with the wind passing through. And so I like to get my dust mitt wet. And so I'll get it wet and then I'll go to my window screens and I'll take it and I'll wipe it down. And it's nasty <laughs> if you see um, what it picks up with a dusting mitt um, and the difference that your screen will look. You don't actually realize how dirty it is until you try to clean something. Um, that's why I love Norwex. It's fun. It makes it fun to clean. Every time I, I clean, I'm like, hmm, what can I clean? And how can I take a before and after picture to show just how amazing these things are? Um, but yeah, so hopefully if you get a dusting mitt with your Safe Haven 5 kit, um, you're going to love, <laughs> you're going to love dusting again because you're going to be able to get into those nooks and crannies that you can't get into with um, other dusters that don't always dust very well. Um, so yeah, there's our dusting mitt. And then our next item in the Safe Haven 5 is our Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. Um, and so if you get the Safe Haven 5, it's gonna come in a big bag like this. Woohoo! Um, so our before the party started, I did a little experiment for you guys to show how clean and awesome Norwex detergent is compared to other leading brand detergent. Um, so I have two jars that I mixed up before the party. Um, and so as you can see, this is the Ultra Power Plus. Look how clear it is, you guys. You can see my eyes. And this was the other detergent that I have downstairs in my laundry room. Um, so it's it's blue, you guys. So when you use this stuff, all of this gets left behind in your clothes and your cloths and your towels. But if you use this, look, it's crystal clear, you guys. Crystal clear. As you can see, the Ultra Power Plus leaves nothing behind to harm or damage your clothes. Um, and so that's what we want when you have your Norwex microfiber. Um, and so wondering how to clean your Norwex microfiber? Can you get where I'm going with this? <laughs> Um, you're going to want to use Dar Norwex detergent because obviously, or, or a very, very clean, free and clear detergent if you can't have the Ultra Power Plus. Um, but we really recommend the Ultra Power Plus. I use it to clean my cloths and it's always amazing the stuff that comes out of it. <laughs> um, but how do you care for your Norwex microfiber? I'm going to tell you three tips on how to care for it. The first is going to be to not use any any bleach with your cloths because it's going to degrade the fiber and it's not going to be able to work. The second one is no fabric softeners or dryer sheets. Those are very chemically harmfully um, not the best choice to use. Um, they're going to coat the fibers of the of the microfiber and the microfiber in the backlog won't be able to do their job. Um, and then you're not going to want to wash them with high linted items um, like plush towels or blankets or anything like that. Um, so I actually do my Norwex laundry separate. Um, I use my Ultra Power Plus detergent um, and I do all that separate. Um, so 
as I said, you're going to want to use one of our earth friendly laundry detergents. Um, we have a liquid detergent and then we have the powder detergent and I actually prefer the powder detergent. It really just depends on what your need is. Um, but both of our liquid and our powder have no dyes, fillers, phosphates, chlorine, sulfates, fragrances, or optical brighteners. Our liquid detergent is also USD certified bio-based. Um, and so, and it's only gonna be just, um, so as you can see, um, it tells you on the back um, of the bag how much you're gonna wanna use. And most people, if you have a HE washing machine, most people just use about a teaspoon of, did you hear that guys? A teaspoon of detergent. Um, if you have a standard washing machine like mine, you're probably gonna need to use more, you are gonna need to use more. Um, and it's gonna be a couple tablespoons of detergent. Um, so there is instructions on the back, but just, it's gonna go a long ways. Um, a teaspoon, that's gonna last you forever, you guys. If you have a standard, if you have an HE washer, even but though, even so, it's gonna last you a long time and it's totally worth it in every way. Um, and so, the next item in our Safe Haven 5, so I guess that would be um, one, two, three, four, and our last item is probably one of my favorite items um, that Norwex has, um, but it's gonna be our cleaning paste. And our cleaning paste is basically elbow grease in a jar. Um, and so I had mentioned at the beginning that um, when I first found Norwex, I found something to clean my shower with. And I'm not even joking at you all, um, it was the cleaning paste. So I had a sample that the consultant sent me to, um, to clean and to try things out with and I had an enviro, a piece of an enviro cloth and some cleaning paste and I was able to wipe away the rust on my shower without vigorous cleaning and nothing else had worked to clean the rust out of my shower. Um, I have some before and after pictures that I can show you of my shower. You guys will be amazed. <laughs> um, but it safely replaces all kinds of chemical cleaners and scouring powders. Um, this long lasting solid, so it is a solid, so it's not a, it's not a liquid, it's a solid. Um, but the long lasting solid becomes a paste when wiped with a damp Enviro cloth. Um, so you can use it with other Norwex things, um, like our, some of our sponges, um, other cloths, um, but, <coughs> excuse me, but um, it's gonna become a paste when it gets wet. Um, and so always test it in an inconspicuous spot um, before you clean it. And there's on the, on the lid, it does say some areas that they don't recommend use of. Um, so just always test a small area before you're gonna go do some vigorous cleaning with it. Um, but I'm just gonna show you how great the paste is and how well it's going to pick things up or how well it's gonna clean things. So I just had a little bit of residue on my counter from my spray. I tilted the paste upside and it sprinkled some stuff. Um, but I have a permanent marker, you all. And I'm just gonna show you how great it's the, the paste is gonna work. So if you have kids that like writing on walls, you finally have an answer um, without using a bunch of harmful chemicals to find something to clean it. Um, so I'm just gonna take this um, permanent marker. Um, it says right here, super permanent ink. Um, but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna write on my counter, you guys. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, I've just wrote permanent marker on my counter. Um, and I'm not even afraid because I know it's gonna clean it. Um, so here I have, I'm just gonna rinse this out really quick. So here I have my damp Enviro cloth. So, it needs obviously more work. So I'm just trying to clean with just my Enviro cloth, not cutting through it, okay? So I'm gonna open my lovely magic cleaning paste. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna rub it. And as you can see, it's on my cloth and I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna rub it on the permanent marker and this bad boy is coming right off. I'm not vigorously scrubbing or anything. And so there you have it, you all. I now have no more permanent marker 
on my counter. I love Norwex and I love the cleaning paste. It's so great for so many different things. Um, but there you have it, a clean counter, no more permanent marker. How wonderful is that? So it's great for cleaning things throughout your house like glass stove tops, shower doors, oven doors, and even rubber edges on your kids' shoes. Uh, so if your kids are playing outside right now, it's like super muddy out and super um, dirt everywhere. And so my child's shoes are super gross right now. So I'm sure they could use a nice shine up, a nice polish. Um, <laughs> but I won't bore you with that right now. And so the last thing I'm going to demo for you guys is another one of my favorite items, and it's going to be our mop system. Um, so before Norwex, oh, cleaning floors was such a chore. You know, you had to haul out a heavy bucket, fill it, you know, bring out those stringy mops. In the spray mops, they leave a residue on the floor. Um, but now I don't have to worry about that. So you can actually see behind me, I have two mops. <laughs> oh, I have the large mop and the small mop. Um, but so here's, here's our mop. It's actually short right now. And that's because our mop system has a telescopic handle. And so it can go as tall or short as you want it to. And so they say the top should be about your chin height. Um, and so it shrinks down. My toddler likes to take my mop and take it all over the house. Um, they have a lot of fun with that. Um, but there are the two basic pads that come with the mop system are going to be the dry mop pad and the wet mop pad. And so I have the rose gold, the Nordic, um, superior mop system. And there's also a blue and a green one. Um, but I have the rose gold one because I love rose gold. My wedding ring is actually rose gold. Um, but the dry mop pad is just like the dusting mitt. Um, for your floor. It's going to pick up dirt, dust, crumbs, pet hair, you name it. Um, and any cleanup is easy. And then you're just going to um, brush the debris with our lovely rubber brush, um, which now you there's a package where you can buy the mop system and the rubber brush will come with it. So before we didn't have that. So that's new just this year. Um, but you'll take it and you'll just scrape it into the trash. Um, so sometimes there are larger particles that obviously it's not going to hold. And so sometimes you could take like your EnviroCloth or a little mini dustpan. I still keep my dustpan to use um, to pick up all the large stuff that this um, doesn't hold. But um, before you're going to clean your floor, you're going to want to take it and you're going to want to rub it back and forth. Just like we did our dusting mitt. Um, so with the wet mop pad, it's just like an EnviroCloth on your mop. It cleans your floor using just water and leaves behind no product residue. Um, so when you take your mop pad, your, your mop, um, you can place it um, off center. So I'm actually gonna show you on my counter um, because my camera is not accessible to show you from the floor. So you can take it and you can place it um, off center. And then when you do that, you can clip, you can clip this, and then you're going to be able to clean your dust boards too, your um, your baseboards too. Um, so this um, piece on the on the mop, it, um, this gray piece right here, it comes up, and you're able to clip this underneath of it. It's kind of tricky sometimes, but it does work, I promise. Um, but when you do it, you're going to take it, um, and when you mop your dust, clean your floors. You're going to want to do it in a, a figure eight motion um, to really get those all the crumbs and dirt and yuck off your floor. And if you guys could see all the food that's left on my floor from my toddler, you would know how well it's actually dusting my, you know, picking up all this dirt and debris off of my floor. Um, but like I said, you want to do it in a, a figure eight motion. And so there are large stuff that's left on my floor. Um, but there are other particles on here too. And like I said, you would take it, your rubber brush, and you would just scrape it into the trash. Or you could take it, you know, outside and do it if you didn't want to do it in your trash. Um, but then, and it is Velcro too. So if you like that sound, you just rip it off. And so then you're easy to switch between your mop pads. Um, and so with my mop pad, 
I don't like to fully saturate the mop pad. Um, <laughs> I just actually use, I have one of our forever spray bottles that I use to um, spray water. And so I actually add a little bit of lemon essential oil to it um, because you know, us, we like to smell clean things, but if you actually didn't know, um, clean is not a smell, clean is a feeling. And so I can guarantee you if you wipe your counter off with a Norwex microfiber cloth, you're gonna feel how clean your counters are. Um, but so just keep that in mind that clean is not a smell. I think we've kind of trained our brains to think that um, I have to have it, um, I have to smell that clean. Um, so, so if you want to have that smell clean, you could, you know, diffuse some essential oils, which I love to do. Um, but I also add some lemon drops to my water because who doesn't love a lemony fresh smell? And it's not going to harm your Norwex microfiber either. Um, I personally use doTERRA. Um, but <laughs> I, so I just take it and I just spray it down before I use it. I don't like to fully saturate my mop pad with with this thing, I just feel like it makes it too wet. Um, and so the only area in my house that I have to clean the hard, you know, floors is my kitchen floor. I have a tile kitchen floor. Everywhere else is carpet in my house. Um, but you just take it. And then I also, in addition to spraying my mop pad, I also, I spray my floor as I'm mopping. Um, <laughs> so you take it and I'm telling you all, Mopping with your Norwex Nor mop system is going to be the fastest and easiest thing you do. Um, it's so easy and it's so, it's worth every single penny, you all. I'm telling you so much. Um, and so the base also locks. Um, so the base of the mop system, it also locks if you wanted to purchase the, um, the mop pad. Um, or the window cleaning pad. Um, I have the window cleaning pad for the small mop system, um, but the base locks if you wanted to clean your windows with it um, because this this disconnects right here and you can attach it um, to the multi-use handle. Um, so there's so many uses for the mop system um, that it's worth every single penny. <laughs> so there are three different ways that you can get your mop. The first way is gonna be to purchase it um, and it's worth every single penny. The second way is going to be to host your own party. Um, and if you host a party and you get enough sales, you're going to be able to get that mop for free or severely discounted. Um, <laughs> so who would love to earn a free mop here? I know I would. And so the other way you can get it for free, y'all, I'm telling you, free, um, is you can do what I did and you could become a consultant and get it for free in your starter kit. Um, and that's what I did, you guys. I started um, brand new, no Norwex products. I started and I earned my kit for free um, with my launch party in less than 30 days. And y'all, it was perfect. So if that's something you want to do, something small you want to do on the side to get you going and um, something to work around your own schedule, this is it, you guys. I get to get paid to clean my house. <laughs> How cool is that? Um, so if you'd love to get paid to clean your own house too, um, you can talk to me, you can private message me and you can let me know about that. Um, but that's the way to go to join a company, which Norwex is fabulous. They are so generous and have so many different ways to earn things. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to show you all. So I demoed our Safe Haven 5 today, which was our Enviro cloth, our window cloth, our laundry detergent, the dusting mitt, and the cleaning paste. And so that's a great start. Um, the Safe Haven 5 is it. And then the other thing I showed you was our awesome mop, uh, mop system. And it's worth every single penny if you guys wanted to get it. Or you can have a party, or you can join and become a consultant just like me and have a ton of fun um, hanging out with a bunch of cool people and showing them how much we love Norwex. Um, but, I hope you all have a lovely evening. That's all I have for you tonight. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment or to private message me. Um, there will be other posts after this video, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys are participating because I'm gonna pick a winner for participating um, in the party tonight. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a lovely evening and I can't wait to interact with you through the other posts. Um, I see you all guys. I hope you have a great night.